Hey, thanks for coming back to the channel again today and uh, checking us out. We really appreciate you taking the time. Uh, of course, if you're liking to follow along with us, please uh, hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out a lot. And uh, don't forget to share if you know someone else that may be interested. Uh, we would appreciate that as well. But today we want to show you our home here in Barcelona. And more importantly than just showing you the home, I want to talk to you a little bit about the cost of our home while we're here in Barcelona. Um, it's a two bedroom, uh, one bath home, and it, it accommodates six people. So we've got two bedrooms for the six of us, but the front room is fairly large, at least by European standards. And uh, it has a couch that makes into a double bed. And so we can sleep all six of us here in this home. Now, uh, we found this home through Airbnb, although it has since been taken off the Airbnb listings. But we found uh, pretty much all the places we're going to be staying on in this trip through Airbnb. I will say there's sometimes cheaper ways to get it. You can go through Craigslist and find other ways to get a home for a little bit uh, less expensive sometimes. But with Airbnb, you have somewhat of... Uh, more security knowing that it's backed by a larger brand. Now, I will say we've uh, used Airbnb both as uh, owners that we have had a home that we used and rented out on Airbnb and we've used it as consumers, as people who rent our own uh, vacation homes through Airbnb and we've liked it, but they don't always have the best customer service. They don't always uh, support you uh, the way that you want so it's not a fail-safe uh, platform but it's still a platform that I like especially if you're traveling with the family it is really difficult to find a place to stay for six people in Europe and in a lot of the world really so Airbnb home away VRBO those are all good places to go for uh, vacation home rentals if you're doing long-term Rentals. Now, speaking of long-term rentals, you get a lot better rate when you do a long-term rental. So, for instance, this home we rented for a month, and if we had rented it for two weeks, it would have been about the same price. Um, you got a, we got a huge discount. I want to say it was about 50, uh, maybe even 55% discount for renting it for the whole month rather than just renting it for two weeks or a couple of days. That being said, it still wasn't... Uh, entirely cheap or inexpensive uh, this home cost us two thousand two hundred and ten dollars and then we had to pay an additional 30 euro fee for uh, checking in on a Sunday it actually cost 30 euros more to have someone come and let us in since we arrived on a Sunday um, and then the other thing with this apartment is we actually do have to pay for the electricity at the end of the month. That's not typical for the Airbnb situation. Most Airbnbs that we get do not require that, but this one, that was a stipulation for them. Um, so just to let you know how that compares, if you were doing a long-term rental, even in the downtown area like this, you could get the same type of apartment for about half that cost. And at the end, you'll see some flyers that I put up from advertisements around town uh, for really nice apartments in the downtown area for 900 a thousand euro a month um, I'm not sure though if those are furnished uh, but we we also saw on Airbnb uh, places that we could get for a month for about a thousand euros as well but they were further out from the city center and for us on this trip at least we just really wanted to be right in the middle of downtown and we're not disappointed with the location here. It is in the Gothic Quarter, which is by everything. It's about a 15-minute walk to the beach, uh, about a 5-minute walk to the Gothic Cathedral. And uh, we can walk to most all of the main tourist sites from where we are. And then just the ability to walk out of our front door and be in the heart of the Gothic Quarter see the old Roman city wall right by our home. Uh, it It's worth paying that extra price to us, at least on this trip. I don't know if it would be every time, but, uh, you know, we paid probably about a $1,000 more for this 
apartment then we would have had to pay for a similar apartment if we had got it just a little bit further out of town and been willing to take a subway into all the kind of more touristy areas and there's benefits to that as well to living in a neighborhood maybe more full of families this neighborhood that we're living in uh, of course is great because of the touristy feel during the day and being able to be in the downtown area where it's the heart of the city but it is a little seedy neighborhood uh, you know at night on the corner there are definitely some unsavory gentlemen selling uh, drugs of recreation if you want to call them that I call them uh, illegal drugs that ruin people's lives but you see them there and so that's uh, that's not the best thing but it gives us an opportunity to teach our kids what not to do so we've really enjoyed staying here uh, we feel like it was a good decision for us for this trip but uh, just wanted to let you guys know what we paid for this uh, let me know if you have any comments about that, any experience with Airbnb or other home rental platforms. And uh, if you have any information, I'd sure like to know it. And if you have any questions, I would sure be willing to try to do my best to answer those questions for you. But wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope you're having a great day as you live your journey.